Apart from these professionals, many others are directly or indirectly involved in the process of program production. It includes cameraman, art director, music director, singers, choreographer, property manager, production control manager, or executives, and the like. Our TV program production is, however, a team effort with a focus towards a common goal. Every element involved in that is related to each other for the smooth functioning and execution of the program. Indoor and outdoor recording. The nature of recording depends mainly upon the requirement of the script. Recording restricted to the four walls of a studio is referred to as indoor, or a studio recording and outside recording are known as outdoor recording. Recorded programs have a more significant advantage over live program as the former work can be considered for retakes. In contrast, the success of a live recording depends mainly on the performance of the crew members. Recorded programs can be recorded as many as time possible and have more excellent value for marketing when compared to the other. Broadcasting of television programs. Broadcasting refers to a range of activities to carry out in organizing and scheduling a show through a platform. It involves what, when, and how to broadcast a scheduled program within the limited set period. The purpose of TV broadcasting is to retain the attention and interest of the audience and to provide entertainment and information alike. Timing is an important factor in broadcasting. The time determines the crowd's willingness to watch a program and the effect of that particular time on viewing TV. It also determines how likely time could be affected by the success and viewership of a program. In order to ensure better performance in broadcasting, Several strategies could be adopted. Let's have a look at each one of them. The first one is block programming. This is the process and practice of scheduling a set of program together. It is done based on the audience's interest and for keeping them stays back and keeps tuning the channel continuously. An example of this is the kids blog, which groups kids social programs, including advertisements, cartoon channels, always focus on giving priority to advertisements that cater to the kids interest and attention. The second is bridging. This is the process of alerting the upcoming shows by giving trailers of that program so that the audience will not switch to another channel. The tendency for shifting between channels will be likely to be less. Sometimes the channel purposefully extends the time of a show from its allotted period to keep the audience from moving to another channel by holding the story's interest and curiosity. Cross-programming Cross-programming refers to the process of interconnecting two shows by extending the storyline over more than one episode of two different shows. Counter-programming This is the deliberately executed action of extending a program from the allotted period to prevent the audience from viewing some other primary or similar event or show happening on another channel. You might have witnessed the two different film awards aired on two different channels at the same time. This prevents the dedicated audience from switching to other channels. The next is day parting. 
it is the process of scheduling the day's program based on the availability of a particular target audience for the show for example are the morning shows and the cooking shows at mid noon meant for the homemakers prime time serials and kids program during the evening since television is a media that has reachability in the living rooms of the family any topics that can significantly impact their daily living can be taken as the topic for the program the role played by an extension professional is significant in disseminating crucial information to the community mass media especially television is a suitable means for disseminating knowledge to a broader community some example are shows related to the precautions to be taken during disasters pandemics the importance of balanced diet family relationship legal safeguards on women arts and creativity value added products tips for starting home based enterprises kitchen gardening communicable diseases the importance of girls child education programs on better home saving tips etc can be considered for a tv program by an extension professional various professional roles can be assigned to extension students based on their interest and depth of knowledge professional support can also be obtained to get better results to conclude a tv program that we see is an after effect of a long arrangement of bit by bit processes and methods both inside and beyond a studio it requires proper planning prediction and controlling of both human and non human resources a good program is based on the need and interest of the viewers it is a creative art that involves talented professionals working as a team towards an idea being generated thanks for watching this lecture namaste